Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bulletproof Underwear, episode number 128. I am your co-host, yes. Yamjus. <laughs> and I'm your co-host, Flex. And today, we've got for you a very special guest. The beast from the east, right there in our new digs in, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. None other than Mandy Button! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's good to be back. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this deja vu feeling. So maybe you, you were you were spending you were spending a, a little time in Kokomo, Indiana, right? The K O K O, where there's more cornfields than there are people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how long were you there? Uh we were there for about a year, and it sucked. It sucked out loud. Oh <laughs> uh, well. Imagine like the dirtiest stripper. That's how bad it sucked. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I've seen some pretty nasty ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we're never going back there again. At least not permanently. Fuck okay. no. <laughs> okay, so you love Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah, it's where I'm born. I'm living actually in the neighborhood that I was born in. Like, it doesn't get any more homey than this. I live five minutes from my mom's house. It's pretty awesome. Wow, wow. So, <clears throat> so what is it that you like about Pittsburgh? Give us a couple of reasons. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's a small town. Like the like the inner city itself is only like three or four hundred thousand people, so it's really not like a huge city. Oh, okay. Um, but it has like a big city feel to it. Like we have like a two mile uh, bar strip. It's like probably a five minute walk from my house. It has one hundred and eighty six bars in a two mile radius, which is like absolutely crazy. You can find anything in Pittsburgh. We have zoos, we have aquariums, we have theme parks, we have water parks. I mean, like. There's so much shit to do in this city that it, it keeps you busy. Like in Kokomo, it's like, do I want to drink today or do I want to drink today? And then I'm going to beat my wife after I drink. because That's pretty much all you can do in this fucking city and drive your tractor trailer. Oh, now, now, now we have we have pals that are in Indiana, not in Kokomo necessarily. But I mean, come on, don't be so hard on Indiana. Kokomo is shit. Like if I lived in Indianapolis, yeah, that would be fine. But Kokomo is shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man don't hold back no. <laughs> well i mean it was it was fun i met some really awesome people i was out there but like for the most part there's really honestly nothing to do like i literally yeah. played call of duty and drank and smoked a lot of pot that well, at, least, at least it didn't go to waste you know you you got that you got that snap aim gun skill going down yeah i did get pretty good at call of duty not to toot my own horn but yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Flex, uh, we played just, I guess it was Sunday. Yeah. It was Sunday, and uh, you had a couple of your, your pals, in real life pals, right? The yeah. People you actually um, know. Yeah, I actually met Compor and Hale through Tyler, who's my one of my roommates now, um, that I went to elementary school with, but we met on Call of Duty, and we were like, hey, we both know mutual people, let's hang out. So we met up at a hookah bar, and we are like BFFs now. You met at a hookah bar. Yeah, and Hale is kind of sort of dating Bojangles now, so it's like people in real life really? that I know are kind of, they're not dating, but they're like talking. I don't know if that's what you want to call it. Are they snogging? I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, but Bojangles yeah. is over 18 now. She can do what she wants. Yeah, he's only 19. I mean, Comport's 19. or No, he's... He'll be 20 this month, so unless he's in Maryland, then his state ID says he's going to be 22. Okay. I don't even fucking remember that time frame in my life, man, that yeah. age frame. I... 20 to 21 was like a blur, like late blur. <laughs> yeah, well, I grew up in Texas, and the drinking age at the time was 18. You could do anything. You could go to bars. You could buy liquor from the store, and... Uh, that was pretty cool. Then the Mothers Against Drunk Drivers thing happened. Mad. And then now it's 21 pretty much everywhere. I don't think there's any state where the drinking no, age is. I don't is think it is. They, they still got drive through liquor stores, though. <clears throat> Not yeah. here. I wish. In you Texas, they have drive through liquor stores. Uh, yeah. Isn't that a great idea? It's like, 
Let's let's. <laughs> it's like you're automatically drinking and driving if you go to a drive-through <laughs> liquor store. <laughs> they give you the hand you the ice and the cups and everything, man. <laughs> what? Yeah. I need that in my life. Shit. <laughs> Well, the first time I ever got shit faced <laughs> drunk, I mean really shit faced drunk, uh, we went to the uh, liquor store. Me and my me and my pal Singleton, we, we, it, we lived in Irving, which is a dry city, uh, but we're right across the bridge, over over the Trinity River from Dallas. So as soon as you right get Dallas. <laughs> as soon as you get over the bridge, boom! There's like five giant liquor stores <laughs> right there. <laughs> Let's get drunk. So, so uh, I remember we went in there, and for some reason we decided we were going to drink wine. And uh, the the wine that I chose was a a big ass. I think it was a it was a jug. It was a jug of wine, and it had one of those glass things where you could like drink it like that with like a loop <laughs> on it. You know that kind of wine. Yeah, it was called. Just put a straw in it. It was called La Boheme. And uh, it was a dollar fifty seven. <laughs> <laughs> Spendy stuff. Oh god, that's like better or worse than like Sutter Home. Ugh. My yeah. cousin brought over a bottle of that this weekend, and I went to go drink it. I'm like, oh, what the fuck is this? Take it back. I don't even want it. I thought that was supposed to be a halfway decent wine. Mm mm. Maybe oh. it was the kind of wine that she had, but it was like a white wine, and it was super bitter and just. Ugh. Yeah. Well, I don't drink anymore. Me and Flex are both uh, reformed drinkers. I like my Jameson and Pedialyte. Pretty Jameson no. and Pedialyte? Hey, Pedialyte hey, gives you the electrolytes so you don't have a hangover the next day. That's a good idea. Hang on just a second. Yeah, the, the mail is on your on your spot there. Hi, Mrs. M. We're, we're taping the show. And uh, our, our guest, Mandy, just said, hi, Mrs. M. I've got a... <laughs> I've got on the headphones <laughs> so she didn't hear you. Else is there? It's just just us, us three. Nobody here but us chickens. Brock. <laughs> it's like what we're we talking about wine. <coughs> oh no, we're talking about Pedialyte. Pedialyte, it it acts like Gatorade. I mean, Gatorade, but it, it doesn't have all the sodium that uh, Gatorade does. It has that. Well, it's so sodium, it has less sodium. But if you actually just take Jameson and like a flavored Pedialyte, you mix it in like a little cocktail and shoot it, you don't get hungover the next day. Is this bacon? Uh, tell you what, you want to throw that in the trash, and we're taping, so we'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring me some bacon and yams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You were talking about yesterday eating mac and cheese. Oh, I love mac and cheese. God, I love mac and cheese. <laughs> we're, like, super poor because we're moving in and getting things to trade. I mean, it's still, like, unorganized, and I don't even have my dressers in yet, and I'm on an Ikea fucking uh, table because my desk is in, like, 500 pieces over there because Josh took it, like, apart incorrectly, and it won't go back together now. Uh, uh oh So it's literally sitting right there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, surely, surely you can go to Ace Hardware and pick up some extra screws or or brackets or something to to you know kind of makeshift put it together. Uh, oh, well, we got the warranty on it, so if we just take it back to Staples, they give us a gift card for what we paid for it. So I'll just buy a new one. Problem solved. Yeah. What the hell? What the hell? I just haven't got out the Staples. It's I work retail, and it's Christmas season, and yeah. They yeah. own me right now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. So you're putting in those tough, hard hours. Yeah, today was my short shift. So I only work seven hours today, but every other day I work ten and a half usually. And, uh, and just uh. eats my day. Like tonight, I'm going to get off BPU and go right to bed because I have to be back in there in the morning. Oh, you know you're going to get on and play some video games, right? Nope. I can't. I might go downstairs and play The Sims 4 for like 30 minutes if I'm lucky. Ah! <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> All right. So so you're into The Sims. So excuse me just a second. Hey, Ann, you're making a lot of noise. Please, would you just give us a break? I'm waiting for the bacon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Hopefully... I still hear I still hear rustling around and shit. <laughs> don't matter. That's oh well, right. well, okay. It's like whatever. It's not the first time. It won't be the last. <laughs> well, you can barely hear it. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So how's uh, how's your better half doing? Uh, 
he's downstairs doing something. I don't, I don't know. I think he's watching Django Unchained, if you've ever seen that movie. Super racist. I saw and hilarious. it. I saw it. Yeah, I, I kind of liked it. It's it's kind of kind of cool. Now, uh, why do they call it Django? Did you ever see the original spaghetti western Django? Mm -hmm. Django. No, I never saw it. I just seen the uh, that one there about a month ago because they put it on Netflix, and I was like, "Oh, fuck it! It's three hours. Yeah, fuck it." I like that guy with the funny accent. What the, the other, German? The German guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that guy. Yeah. I watched that and uh, Wolf of Wall Street for the first time not that long ago. Oh, I loved Wolf. Of I Wall loved Street. Wolf of Wall Street. How the fuck did he not win a Grammy? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, or or even an Oscar. Yeah, I, just to point that out there, if you ever feel bad about yourself, remember that you and Leonardo DiCaprio still share the same amount of Grammys and Oscars. That's cool to know, yeah. It's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I love Leonardo DiCaprio. I think he's really, really a good actor. Ti I think Titanic is like one of the most like grossing fucking movies of all time, and he doesn't have a Grammy or an Oscar. Well, I mean, you know, it's a goddamn chick flick. I mean, come on. Well, yeah. <laughs> but you would think for how many, like, billions of dollars that fucking movie is made, whatever, who was it, Warner Brothers or Disney or whoever the fuck did it, like, that he would have gotten something out of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you see The Great Gatsby? I have read the book, but I've not seen the movie. Well, Leonardo DiCaprio is in a remake, uh, like I guess a year or maybe two years ago, of The Great Gatsby, and that movie rocks. Really? That's good. Tobey Maguire is in it. <clears throat> Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's a partier. Spider-Man's a partier. Yeah, he, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I could see that happening. Yeah, he likes to go out and raise a little hell, get in a little trouble. Raise a little hell, raise a little hell, raise a little hell. Just, just be like Wolf of Wall Street and start snorting cocaine off shippers assholes. Oh man, those guys, those guys knew how to party in that movie. I love Jonah Hill in that movie. I just want to throw that out there. <laughs> he was fantastic. It's been, it's been done. Oh yeah. Many people have done it. I haven't. Oh, it. I haven't. Not off of a shippers asshole. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't know where that stripper's asshole has been. Well. You have a pretty good idea. Yeah, I don't want to know. As long as, she's, <laughs> as long as she's on a vegan diet, I guess it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Another good one with uh, Jonah Hill, I saw 22 Jump Street not that long ago. We didn't have internet for like a week, so we pirate, well, not we, but my one roommate pirated a bunch of fucking videos before uh, he left his old place. And we just watched a bunch of like new movies. I saw that. I saw Lucy with uh, Scarlett Johansson. That was really fucking good. What's Lucy? Um, <clears throat> it's basically this girl who she was dating a guy who was like in some drug smuggling thing, but they were drug smuggling like a, a specific. I can't remember what the fuck the abbreviation was, but uh, I can't either. Yeah, it's like a it's like a part of the body that. Um, influences like how much of your brain that you use and she goes through these stages where she uses like 10 percent 20 percent 30 percent 40 percent and it shows like how the human body develops when you can use more of your brain and yeah. it becomes to the point where she can control matter she can become like anything she wants it's really fucking weird but it's good okay i'm getting i'm getting a request for a cigarette here Ruh -roh. go go give me a pack here would you please Stop you smoking. Have you have two packs. As you as you hit the e-cig thing, the there's the, no nicotine in this. There's no nicotine. Well, why nope. would you even bother doing it? Because this is my way of quitting. I still get the sensation that I'm smoking without doing it. For me. Sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> Are they after you? Probably. Yeah. Turn, geez. Me. Turn out the lights quick. No, run! <laughs> Stay away from the windows. I'm in the attic. Good luck. <laughs> they got they got snipers trained on you right now. <laughs> they got the the guy with the 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 metal thing to bash your door down. Jink. Well, there's three doors, so pick one. <laughs> <laughs> this house so, is fucking huge. So you got a big old house, 
and you're sharing it with a few uh, with a few folks. So you basically got like Party yeah. Central going on there. There's four other people here. Dang. Yeah, it's me, Dang. Josh, um, Tyler, who is Radom Shaft. Um, you probably see him on my videos a bunch of times. Uh, my old roommate from Kokomo who moved here, uh, Corey. Who he's he's a gamer, but he's not really into like streaming or anything like that. Um, and then my buddy James from high school, who doesn't game at all, but he's like super open to it. Like he played Minecraft for the first time not that long ago, and he's like, "Oh my god, this is awesome!" <laughs> <laughs> I'm addicted. <laughs> I love that shit. We actually, uh, me and Comport, I bought a server last night. And we're just going on the server and fucking around. So if you guys ever want to play some Minecraft, I have a server. Wow. Do you want to plug it? Does it have a name? Uh, Mandycraft. That's it. Mandycraft. Mandycraft. Okay. So for all you Minecraft people out there, <laughs> get on that shit. Get on it. I don't have a huge server, but you can come and play, build shit. Just don't destroy it or I'll fucking find you and kill you. <laughs> now i've never played minecraft on a pc before i what? dicked around yeah dicked around with it a little bit on uh xbox on, on xbox yes yeah, like yes yeah, that wasn't my game it's not my game i don't know uh it's pretty fun on xbox but it's really like you can't do much on xbox compared to pc like pc i can do anything i fucking want <laughs> can you have ritual murders <laughs> if I wanted to. I went around and murdered a bunch of bunnies yesterday, if that makes you feel better. <laughs> Honestly, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Holy, here goes a herd of bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've watched you stream before. Now, why are you not streaming? Because you have, <sighs> I have the good best internet. Ever. I just want to point out, I've topped my internet out. I think it was like 89 download, 92 up. 92 up. 92, 92 up? fucking up. <laughs> Jesus. Like, I don't even know what to do with 92 up. It's like, God, you have to render everything in 1080, man. I could probably render everything in 1080 and upload it within minutes. Hmm. Yeah, I need to get back on my YouTube game now that I'm finally kind of in my new house, kind of. As soon as that desk gets together and I'm not sitting on the floor, it yeah. might be game. Well, I mean, you know, it's like sitting on the floor it keeps you close to your roots. <laughs> or it gives me back problems. <laughs> or, or it gives you a, like a, you know, numb ass. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I have a chair right there, but the chair is actually higher level than what the table I'm at right now. So I have to like lean over and it's not worth it. <laughs> you get a little bad case of hunchbackness. Yeah, I mean, I'm already like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! So, so you gotta you gotta break out the streaming. You gotta start making YouTube yeah. videos. <sighs> I need to get again. back to the game. It's been a while. I can't even. Well, for the longest time, I was like, "Oh, well, I'm just gonna do the podcast. That'll be like kind of my stabilizing thing." And then Bojangles turned 18 and got a job, and our fucking schedules never sync up. <sighs> it's just so, not easy. So Bojangles has got a job. Is she working like full time? Yeah, she's working. Well, I think she's working like 30 hours a week. Plus, she's going to school and it's her senior year. So she's like, I can only play from this to this time. And it's never when I'm home. So mm. Mm. <clears throat> maybe after the holiday season breaks and I'm not working like a bajillion fucking hours a day. <laughs> yeah, I hate Christmas. Yeah. yeah, people are assholes during Christmas time. I've literally been cussed out by someone over a 50 cent price difference and they leave in a fucking BMW. And I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> like your car is worth like three of my cars and you're complaining about 50 fucking cents. Fuck you. Fuck you and your mama. Hate Fuck you. you and everybody who looks like you. <laughs> yes. I have never, I've never had nothing but bad things happen at Christmas, man. So I, I don't like it. You would think people would be nice. Like, right now, I'm working in the photo department, so, like, people put in their gift cards, or whatever, their holiday fucking Christmas cards, and they'll fuck it up completely, and they'll be like, why did you fuck up my Christmas cards? And I'm like, do you think I really was like, hey, this is a perfect Christmas card, and decided to fuck it up just to piss you off. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're processing people's film and uh, and stuff like that? 
Well, my old store, we process film. This new store, we don't. It's all digital. We send it off to Fuji. They develop it for us and send it back to us digitally. Yeah, so you see you see a lot of dirty selfies? No, not this one. In Kokomo, we had a guy that would come in with a fucking disposable camera twice a week of him and his strippers. And by law, I can't tell him I can't develop this. But my morals told me not to, but I still would. It was raunch. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you made prints for yourself, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> Tap later. <laughs> like the chicken, the off, chicken, the offspring video. Yeah, you probably haven't. I don't know if you've seen that, where she's hiding yep. the pictures and stuff, and then she's <laughs> totally what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah. here I, I'm working in the suburbs, so it's mostly fucking people that are have way too much money. Like today, some lady spent four hundred and twenty-two dollars in my register in one order. It's like that's fucking half my paycheck. Are you serious? Dang! I was like, so, who just spends that? <laughs> so, so calendars for the for the whole family or something like that, or she bought like. A whole bunch of Christmas shit and a bunch of travel shit for stocking stuffers. Like, ten of each thing that we had in our fucking travel section. A bunch of makeup. A bunch of, like, stupid shit that I would never spend that much money on. <clears throat> and then, like, a hundred and something dollars in boxed candy. Jeez. Jesus Christ. I was like, you just spent my next week's worth of paycheck on fucking candy alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can never spend too much on candy. Unless you're diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, so I've got a friend who comes over in real life every Friday, and we uh, usually watch a movie or something and hang out. <clears throat> and it's just kind of a, tr a tradition. Uh, we order pizza, and for some reason or another, it's a tradition that uh, we have, the, like, when, he, when he's leaving, he grabs a handful of Smarties. We keep... <laughs> Smarties. Every Halloween, we buy giant bags of Smarties to last the whole year. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever Have you ever had Smarties? Oh yeah, it's a it's a little packet like of candy. <laughs> You're a yeah, yeah, yeah. Smarty. That's yeah. kind of like it's kind of like Tums. <laughs> no, no, no. They're they're more like sweet tarts, I guess. Yeah, kind of. same idea. Yeah, so so we always you know going around. I can get you the Smarties hookup with my uh, discount. Oh, wow. Now you tell me. I bought my year supply already. <laughs> well, I know what to get you for Christmas. Goddamn. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <clears throat> so you'd be pretty freaked out if we watch you a Christmas present, wouldn't you? No. Nothing freaks me out. Actually, Bojangles is sending me slutty brownies tonight. Well, they'll be here tomorrow morning, and that's my Christmas present from Bojangles. Is that uh, from Drifter's <laughs> Recipe? Mm, no. Hers is uh, it's brownies on the bottom. Oreos in the middle, and then cookie on top, and the Oreos melt, so they become like fudge Oreos. They're fucking delicious. Wow, wow! So Drifter made a uh, made a, a couple of tweets that he uh, last like for Thanksgiving he was making slutty brownies. It's probably somewhat similar. I, I would never, assume so. I've never heard of slutty brownies. I don't know. Mm -hmm. She calls. She sent them to us twice already. She sent them for my birthday earlier this year, and then. Forget it. what else she sent them for. She sent them randomly another time of the year, and well, she destroyed them. There's no bad time to get slutty brownies. Yeah. <laughs> or Except any other kind. My roommates are going to fucking destroy them, because that's usually how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get a secret uh, safety deposit box, you know, that you can sneak in there and scarf them. I have a walk-in them. closet. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hide them like contraband. Oh, God, yeah. Act like we're in prison or some shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So do you guys do a lot of cooking over there? Um, seeing that I'm the only woman in the house, no. <laughs> <laughs> As Joshua said, if it doesn't come in a box, I'm <clears throat> going to make it. Which is somewhat true. Yeah, yeah. Well, I you know... <laughs> You know, it's like you you, you tweeted uh, out that you were having a McDonald's uh, right before this show here, so. <laughs> in my defense, that's the first time I've had McDonald's in like two months. Okay, okay. We buy it. We believe it. <laughs> For now. 
that's what I had for uh, for breakfast on Saturday was McDonald's. I love McDonald's yeah, breakfast. McDonald's breakfast in probably ten years. I haven't eaten. It's been a really? long time. Yeah, I like think I had Adam the, Sandler is like trying to make it to, to make it to McDonald's before they stop serving breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Big Daddy or whatever? I think it might have been Big Daddy. Yeah, yeah. I love Adam <laughs> Sandler. <laughs> I haven't yeah. ate McDonald's breakfast since I weighed four hundred pounds. Yeah. I can't imagine you four hundred pounds still. Nope. No. Yeah. Well, I'm putting on some weight. I'm <laughs> I've lost weight. actually a pretty decent amount of weight. Well, you're looking good. Thank you. Yeah, good. at one point, like when when me and Josh got married, I was three hundred pounds. You're shitting. Yeah, I was a big girl. Wow. And uh, yeah, I'm down like eighty pounds since then, so I can't complain too much. Wow. Wow. And Josh has been lifting lately. He's fucking skinny as shit now. Is he getting all ripped? Yeah, I mean his biceps are like Woo-hoo. huge. He's working on his chest now, but his biceps are fucking huge. And he has Man. long hair now, too, and he cut off his mustache. He looks weird. Oh, wow. I like his mustache. It got kinda, too thin, so he cut it off so it could grow back in thicker. He had kind of a snidely whiplash thing going on. Yeah, he just had to... <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of Elmer's glue. That's all you need, really. <laughs> Is that mine's, how he did it? Mine's too... Mine's you too could do an in. awesome fucking twirl flex. Yeah, Just I know. do it. Just fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should get some crazy sideburns and some like Fu some Manchu. Or, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just do like some crazy shit. My, oh. Minus minus thin. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I've done plenty of crazy shit, man. I don't need to do any more. <laughs> Dye your hair purple. Fuck it. Well, everybody, everybody always says he looks and sounds like a biker. No, he looks like fucking Chong. Everybody Everyone says, says that. that. Exactly. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you could be Tommy Chong's half brother. Yeah, yeah. See, that those movies were big when I was in high school. That shit was like hitting big. If you have Netflix, right? Go on oh, Netflix yeah. and watch The Union. You will think of pot in a whole different direction. The Union. Is that like yep. a documentary or? It's a documentary, but it is probably the most accurate documentary about pot that I've ever seen in my life. Hmm. It has okay. like the whole reason why it was illegalized and why prohibition is there. And like the whole backstory of like how pot is actually going to be one of the best things for taxpayers in the economy in the next 10 years. Well, you know, the places that it's legal, they're going hog wild. I mean, they oh, go yeah. hog fucking wild. Just to kind of put it in perspective, in Pennsylvania, I've been doing a little bit of research because it's it's a big topic in Pennsylvania right now because they're talking about legalization here. Um, in Pennsylvania, the average price per gram for tobacco is 61 cents, while the average gram of pot in uh, Pennsylvania is $5.71. dollars so just imagine the tax difference of what we're making off tobacco right now versus what we'll make off pot in the future. Yeah, yeah. I'm all about it yeah. when it comes to money. Well, so so does your state I'm have... I'm all about uh, it when it comes to weed. Do you have, yeah, they do. Do you have medical <laughs> in your state? Uh, that's what they're pushing for right now. They just decriminalized it in Philadelphia, which was the big thing. It's been decriminalized in Pittsburgh for a long time. Like, it, not officially, but... I've smoked pot on a very, very fucking populated street before in front of cops, and cops are just like, hey, have a great day, bye. <laughs> they don't really give a fuck here. But, like, in Kokomo, Indiana, I would go to jail for a gram of pot. Like that. Yeah, yeah. But Ooh. here, they're pushing for medical. Um, we have a new governor. They got rid of Tom Crabbe, which was, like, the worst fucking governor of the Pennsylvania. He's actually the only governor in Pennsylvania history to not get reelected. Wow, he must have really blown it. He fucked up pretty hard. Yeah. Dang. So is your governor, your current governor, is he a Republican or a Democrat? He's a Democrat. All right, so you're you're Woo! good to go. <laughs> yeah, see, the thing with uh, Corbett was like, oh, no, I worked in the slums of Philadelphia, and everyone that smokes pot eventually started dealing heroin, and we're like, you're fucking retarded. That's a, you are that's literally a, retarded. That's a fucking myth. 
It's yeah. a gateway drug, man. It's a gateway drug. Yeah, like even in that movie, The Union, um, they talk about there are more teens in in um, rehab for marijuana, and it's just basically the people saying, "Hey, you know, you basically either go to jail for this long period of time, or you go to this rehab so that we can use you as a number uh, against our war against marijuana." So that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. So when did marijuana become illegal? Oh, what was? Must it? have been a long time ago. Thirty-eight. Like yeah, thirty-eight. 30. It's been a while. So, yeah, when did Reefer Madness come in? In the 30s, 30s, 40s. (laughs) And it's all fake. Like, um, all, like, everything that they said were, like, pot kills uh, brain cells. What they actually used for that test is they were pumping 40 Colombian strength blunts into monkeys in the gas mass over a five-minute period. And what they didn't realize is that the monkeys weren't able to take in any oxygen. What happens when you don't take in oxygen? You fucking lose brain cells because you don't have oxygen to go into your brain. So they made that as like, oh, cannabis obviously kills brain cells. No, you weren't giving them oxygen, you fucking retards. <laughs> well, I, I don't know about I don't know about what pot does or doesn't do like scientifically, but I have seen a few people that became pretty wasteoids. Well, you know. yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's a pretty hefty percentage of people that go completely overboard. They're like, I'm addicted to marijuana. I'm going to do stupid shit. Like, that's going to happen. But I think, like, on a medical standpoint, like, Josh's dad, for instance, terminal brain cancer, couldn't talk and walk, smokes pot, and can talk and walk and function like a normal human being. Really? Mm-hmm. It makes, that, makes that big of a difference. It makes it, I don't know what the hell it does to him. But he literally went from not being able to write his name to smoking pot and being able to write his name again. Like, that is a huge wow. milestone for him. Uh, my dad, for instance, my dad is an HIV patient. Um, the actual medicine that he takes makes it so that he becomes so malnourished because he can't actually eat. So he smokes pot to actually give himself an appetite to be able to eat again. So from a medical standpoint, yeah, I'll take pot any day. Yeah, yeah. I'll take it over narcotics. Yeah. More more people die from aspirin and peanut butter a year than marijuana. Aspirin and peanut butter is a lethal combo, man. Do well, not even take aspirin separate. and peanut butter. If you touch <laughs> aspirin and peanut butter even together, you got aspirin in my peanut butter. You got I'm peanut dead. butter in my aspirin. <laughs> <laughs> you but take yeah. one you take one morsel of that shit together and it's like you're fucking dead. Everybody knows that. I'm just saying, peanut butter kills more people per year than pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peanut allergies are serious shit, man. I'm only allergic to two things. And, uh, well, I'm technically three. I'm, I can't have Vicodin. Something in Vicodin makes me severely sick. Okay. Um, raspberries. Can't have raspberries. And mm. I can't have anything that is derived from mint oil. Like the mint leaf oil. It'll so, fuck me up. So peppermint raspberry... I would die. <laughs> it was not good. I would probably die. So what happens? You, you like your throat closes up, or do you get like uh, rashes I get real on the skin? Um, my gums will swell. My throat will swell. Ew. Not fun. scary. Yeah. Scary. <clears throat> well, if you ever do it, be sure to stream it with a face cam. <laughs> with an epipen <laughs> right next to me. Fuck <laughs> 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 okay, it, guys. Dink. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you'll be able to stream with uh, with face cam and all that, all the goodies. I thought about green screening, but I don't know if I'm going to be quite into it that much yet. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Yeah. Why not? Why the fuck not? Once I get my my old job back at the hospital and I Ugh. have like that like seven to three thirty every day, it'll be fucking cake. Because then I can be like, I'll stream from 4 to 8, or I'll do this from blah, 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 and it'll be every day. It's not like, oh, this day I work from 9 to 5, this day I work from 10 to 10, like... Trying to figure out where I am. Yeah, like, I could never have a set stream schedule right now, like, that's why YouTube is really hard for me, because it's like, fuck, like, tonight, for instance, I would have never been able to make a video if I was doing YouTube right now. I'd be like, I have literally an hour or two before I have to go to bed, and I still have to eat, I still have to shower... And I want to relax when I get home. I don't want to go and do more work. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You guys are awesome, so I'll take the hit for that. (laughs) (laughs) Mandy is a trooper, baby. She's 
come, she's come through before. She'll come through again. And it's like, if anybody doesn't know, the time that we got Drifter on our show is like 100% due to Mandy getting him on the show for us. That's right. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I help those who are friends. I can't. It's, it's, it's a thing. I'm not a dick. Not always, at least. Yeah, well, I, I'd say that uh, you know, using all those system hacks over and over and over again on these <laughs> these fools, uh, there's probably people who have played against you who would say otherwise. <laughs> First thirty seconds of the game, system hack. Twenty minutes or twenty seconds later, system hack. Minute later, system hack. <laughs> oh my god! If I was playing against you, I would hate your guts. Yeah, it was worse when I used to run the one that uh, disabled your exosuit. So they go to run and jump, and they're like, "I can't jump." Fuck, and then he killed them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think about uh, Advanced Warfare? What's your opinion of it? I actually really like that game. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, and if it goes from tiers of which game, Black Ops Two, Advanced Warfare, Ghosts, and everyone hated Ghosts, but I fucking loved Ghost. You loved Ghosts. I loved Ghosts. The oh spawns were fucked up. And the spawns are still a little iffy in Advanced Warfare, but they're not bad. <clears throat> but I think Advanced Warfare, like, it it revolutionized what Call of Duty has been for the last, what, six or seven years, whatever long it's been. <clears throat> well, one it thing about it, different. one thing about it is camping doesn't work thing. very good. Nope. Because people could close in on your position from yeah. so many different angles so fast. Mm -hmm. You cover ground so much that... If you're camping, you're going to get somebody's going to fuck you up from behind. I will tell you one thing there's a lot of head glitching. It's really similar to Black Ops 2 head glitching, and that's the one thing that'll piss me off is people will find like dark corners and they'll hit <laughs> it, and they'll head glitch in a spot that makes it really hard for you to get a position on them. Um, and it really depends on spawns, too, because if someone's sitting here, I don't want to have to go all the way around their spawn to get to them. I can, I can do it relatively fast, but it's way harder to do that and survive. <clears throat> And the spawns flip real heavy in that game, too. Yeah, yeah, they flip yeah. all the time. Because people are all over the place. I mean, yeah. the mini-map... I mean, you're like, going every which fucking way in that game. Yeah, it, it's it's pretty chaotic. I mean, a lot of people probably don't like that because they're used to a more, you know, traditional kind of thing where I, you can predict spawns better. Yeah. I've gotten used to spawn prediction. Like, I've gotten used to... If I run one way, I know that once I kill a couple people, I need to turn around and double check my back route because there's going to be someone behind me, regardless. There's going to. Um, I've learned to pay attention to sound really heavy in this game because you can hear when people do like a double jump or a thrust. Mm -hmm. The mini map, watching the mini map, is absolute fucking like key to surviving in that game. Like you have got to watch your mini map and keep track of what you're doing on your screen at the same time. It's really hard. But so, do you have a favorite map yet? I love solar. solar. Solar is my shit. I love that map. It's very three lane ish, which is like what I kind of liked and I kind of missed right. it goes. Um, so it's really easy to control the map, but at the same time, there's so many different like plateaus of like levels that it makes it fun. Well, you just have to. You just have to like. It makes it different because of how many different levels people are on and how easy it is to get on different levels. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to check not not just your corners, but you have to check, check roofs. Up. Yep. I like that yeah. one in Green Band is really good, too. Oh, Green Band is crazy. It's like Green the first, Band gets crazy. <laughs> first couple of weeks, I fell off into that thing in the middle so many times. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you, uh, I, when I first started playing Advanced Warfare, I put a couple of videos up. Um, I did one. It was Road to uh, Grand Master, uh, which is their ranked version. And the first ranked match I did, I was fucking destroying people. And then I jump off the map twice. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? Did this, did this just happen? <laughs> Fuck, it's live. I can't even edit it out. Oh, well. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. yeah. And then I had like this thing where me and this guy were just going in a circle chasing each other, trying to punch each other. And he ended up punching me before I could get him. Well, I like the melee in this game. It's like you, you actually have to be looking at the guy to get mm -hmm. a melee kill. And the scuff is key. Like, if I did not have a scuff playing this game, I would not know what the fuck I was doing. The jumping and shit? Oh, for sure. The jumping and sliding? <laughs> yeah. Like the scuff makes it so much better. 
-hmm. Those two paddles are, are, are your lifeline, man. Yeah, and I've gotten really good at the whole, like, jump up in the air and dodge over as I'm still shooting and keeping with my accuracy while doing it. And it doesn't hurt that I got, like, an elite gun that just got buffed to hell and back. So I was like, ah, nailed it. So that's ASM-1. What's that yep. What's that version called that you got? The speakeasy. The speakeasy. It's like the old-fashioned Tommy gun barrel on the, the drum. Yeah, it yeah. That's 67 bullets to a drum on a fucking, or on a fucking SMG. It is awesome. Mm. 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 God, how how do you get that? I mean, it's just a random I loot just, drop, right? I got really lucky. Um, I've actually gotten pretty lucky with a lot of the elite guns. I got the HBR. I have a crossbow. I have the ASM one. Um, I think I have another assault rifle. I have a couple of different things. I got a yeah. lot of elite armor. So, uh, so when you get those temporary like armor things, like the blood. <sighs> What is that shit called? Blood, blood? something? Is it a... Uh, I don't even... Blood, blood something, sh- yeah. Bloodshed helmet? Bloodshed, or, yes. Yeah. So do you put that shit on? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh yeah, like I really need to, to wear some shirt or, or helmet for 30 minutes. I really wish it like it was coded in the game to know what you already have, so it would stop giving me doubles, like... I have five elite exosuits. What the fuck am I going to do with five elite exosuits? <laughs> I got two elite HBRs. I redeemed one of them. I mean, like, I kind of like the idea that I can redeem shit, which is nice. So it doesn't go to, like, complete waste. Um, but, like, 2,000 experience for an elite gun that is an 11% chance is kind of shitty, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Do, do you think the, uh, do you think the, uh, the, like the special weapons are are a whole lot better than the regular ones. Some of them, um, I have seen seen some elite guns that are like, eh, like I oh I have a elite ARX, completely useless. Like it it doesn't do anything to the gun. Um, some of them are cosmetic. Like I have a crossbow that's completely cosmetic. Um, I mean some of them are nice. Uh, like my Speakeasy ASM one is actually a good one, but yeah. most of them are kind of like. Eh. Yeah. Well, on the stats, it always like uh, like uh, an elite one. It'll like two things will be plus and one and two things will be minus. So it's like for every plus, there's like a minus somewhere. It's like extra damage, yeah. but it's like lower accuracy or, or whatever. <clears throat> like I like the ones that give attachments for free. Like the HBR I have has a red dot on it, which is awesome because it doesn't cost me a point then. But uh, for the most part, nah. They're better than the stock guns. Uh, I like that they created like that ability. There's like 360 something different combinations. Um, so it kind of brings like more gameplay because you're like, shit, I'm going to keep playing this game because every so many minutes I'm going to get a supply drop. And I have that chance of getting that gun that I want. If I get that gun that I want, I'm going to fuck everything up and I'm going to keep playing this game harder and harder. Right, right. The, the loot grind. Somebody just posted some videos. A couple of people posted videos today about like there's some chart somewhere where it has all the different drops every is there, every every did someone gun. finally break the game code and fucking somebody found group? a chart there, mm. if you if you like i know that chaos silencer has a video for it and then somebody else had had a video as well and i, I haven't clicked on it yet but uh, <laughs> apparently there's a chart you can go and there's like that's all the, dr- the gun possibilities that are they're out there oh shit That'd see i like that cool. though and then you have gear to collect to on top of that yeah, but you know Nigerian pants or you know whatever. I don't give a fuck. fuck I don't yeah. care about the pants or the shirt or the gloves. The helmet like, and the chest piece the, and the, the XO. The helmet and the chest piece and the XO. I sort of am more attached to those. Yeah, like I but have the, my badass Triumph Elite helmet that's like all spikes and shit. I like it. Yeah, <laughs> but like you know knee pads and boots and shit. Who gives a fucking? <laughs> I have ass? elite goggles. <laughs> anyway, so so my game is Halo, and they just released a patch tonight. Bullshit! Tonight, another patch, Bullshit. and supposedly it's really, really helping. the The early word on the street is this patch has really made things a lot better. So what they should have done is they should have just let Bungie have the Halo generations because you know Bungie fucking made the first however many Halos. 
<clears throat> and they should have just let them do it off their servers because Bungie does shit right. 343, fuck you. You don't do shit right. Ever. Bun- Bungie has moved on, baby. They're the Destiny people now, baby. Destiny! <sighs> I don't think Destiny is going to be what everyone... Like, it's good. Don't, I know there are people out there that watch this that are complete Destiny people. I'm sorry for what I'm about to say, but Destiny is not going to be good in the long run. It's not. I don't think they're releasing shit fast enough. They don't have like the World of Warcraft Blizzard complex where they can put out new content all of the fucking time and keep people busy. It's like, oh, I got to level 30. What the fuck am I going to do now? <laughs> well, just to get to level 30 meant that you had to play the same strikes. 500 missions, times. 500 times. I mean, it's like, oh my God. Yeah, they yeah. made it so that you have to grind on that game, and a lot of people don't play console to grind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I had it my fill like, of it. Fuck that. <laughs> I got up to level 21. It's like, oh, man. It's like, I'm, I'm tired of it. I just sort of put it down. It's not, not that I'll never pick it up again, but I probably will never pick it up again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, they made it really hard. Like, I like the idea that you're making it hard to get to somewhere, but make it fun and challenging at the same time. Not... I'm going to grind this strike and hopefully I get a fucking good thing. And then you kill the most fucking people in the thing. And the guy that kills two people gets like a fucking legendary piece of armor and hits level 30 before you. Like the loot system is complete bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least they don't have the loot cave anymore. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I watched Josh play on the loot cave for so long. (laughs) It's yeah, like, I'm just gonna shoot into a cave. <laughs> yeah, he's literally. It was like him and three guys that are just sitting there going, "Yeah, I'm like wow, this is That's really good. fun. This is exciting." Yeah, like, like it's not the groundbreaking <coughs> game. It has like the Titanfall complex, which is a little bit more popular because it's Bungie. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure that the Destiny Two is going to be gigantic, and I'm pretty sure the Titanfall Two is going to be gigantic. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think so. Yeah. Really? You don't think Titanfall 2 will be big? I no. think Advanced Warfare did too many right things for Titanfall to catch on at this point. You know what? I have to say, I actually like the movement in Advanced Warfare more than I like the movement in Titanfall. I do too. I do too. A lot of people do. <laughs> it's, it's good. I mean, the Call double Duty jumps... Call smooth. It's smooth as fuck. <laughs> it is smooth. It works really, really intuitively and well, and when you're just like on a roll, you just feel like Sledgehammer it's, did shit right. Well, I like Sledgehammer more than Infinity Ward now. <laughs> well, I fucking hate Infinity. I hope they get <laughs> fired. I hope that next time their turn comes around, that they get fired. They're no longer they are there. They're getting a lot of shit from ghosts, so I wouldn't be surprised if Infinity Ward doesn't last that much longer. Even though they're like the OG Call of Duty brand. Yeah, but they they're not really. Fuck up. I mean, Ghosts. As much as I like it, was still not oh. even anywhere near as good as advanced warfare yeah yeah for sure advanced warfare is a good game it's like my halo pals would would probably hate to hear it but it's like it is a good game it's a fun game i i like playing it i still would rather be playing the master chief collection but the goddamn shit has not been working properly although right before this call i played two matches which i got into pretty quickly and (laughs) It was looking pretty good. Uh, it's like, who knows? Maybe we've turned a corner on the Master Chief Collection. We'll see. But I think at this point, how many weeks in are we? Oh, uh, shit. We're, we're, we're like, like six weeks in? We're like five or six. Yeah, they've it's already too done late. too much harm. If they would have done, like what they did with Halo 4, like the first couple of days were kind of iffy with the servers, but they fixed it. It would have been fine. Everyone would have been like, this is nostalgic. I don't give a fuck that the first couple of days were bad. But you're several <laughs> weeks into the generation of this game already, and you're still having server problems. You're a massive company who took on a game that is going to be followed by people. You don't even have to do shit. You could half-ass shit and just make the graphics look better, and people would still buy it. Well, what's what pisses me off is like they didn't even have to make a new game. These are like no. four old games. You rehashed yeah. all the old games with better graphics. That is it's literally like, okay. what you did. Halo 2 Anniversary. Okay, there's six brand new maps. Or there's six re, reimagined maps. They're, they're yeah. old maps, but they're like, you know, they've got the, the, you know, the anniversary treatment where they're like, the graphics and the textures look really, really great. <laughs> okay, so 
<coughs> they they had to do a little bit of work, but just bringing back Halo one and and two and three and four, it's like they're already made, and yep. and they're this fucking broken, and they've done this much damage to the name of Halo. Uh, I can't see Halo five being any better. Well, see, I don't know. It's like I don't know. There's so much writing on Halo five. It's like. See, I would have I would have said that about the Master Chief Collection too. There's so much writing on it. It's like I can't believe they would let it get screwed up. But I'm still I'm still hopeful. I'm still hopeful that they've. Regardless of how good the game is, three four three servers are still going to be shit. Well, yeah. we'll see. We'll see. I'm not I'm not writing them off. I'm pissed as hell. <laughs> Yeah, I'm hell, but I'm I'm looking forward to hopefully having them sort this out in Halo Five. There's a beta coming out, so mm, we're gonna find out. We're gonna maybe. find out. I'm gonna stick to my Advanced Warfare. Yeah, yeah. What's well, a good down, game, man? I'm going down. My eyes are slow, slowly closing. <laughs> we must end this. Okay, we gotta end this. He needs show. a nap. <laughs> yeah, I do. Depression makes you sleepy. Uh, go get a pizza and a hoagie and some strippers and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> In that order or not, I don't know. Hey, you can get a little messy. That's all right. Well, you don't want to share the hoagies with the strippers because you know that everyone knows that strippers are like yeah, really but they messy don't eat. eaters. <laughs> they need to keep that body. Remember that. That's true. All right, so if you're still watching Bulletproof Underwear, episode number 128. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so I have been your co-host, Yam Juice. And I have been your co-host, Flex. And we'd like once again to thank our good friend, Mandy Button! <laughs> woot, 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 woot. <laughs> <laughs> So, this ain't your first rodeo, gal. No, it ain't. <laughs> I think I saw Flex's anus through that. Yep. <laughs> that was <he> hot. <laughs> All right. So, folks, uh, folks, everybody check out Mandy Button's channel. Check out her dead. stream. Well, you know what? She's you're gonna start making more videos, or else I'm gonna send somebody over to rough you up a little bit. Send some ninjas. That's it. Ninjas. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. There's only one thing left to do. Take us out, Mr. Flex. <laughs> Bloop.